hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is rashida and what i do on this channel is to create nursing content that is useful and valuable in my previous video i have explained about the fastest way to become a nurse in the united kingdom so if you've not seen that video check my channel you're going to see that video that video is packed with loads of information trust me guys i did everything possible to make sure that video meets standard everything you need to know about it is in that video so make sure you check that video i'll also link it somewhere here and in the description box just to make it easier for you guys so if you are watching this video right now i would assume that you now have a why like you now have a reason to study nursing and you've made up your mind to go for it so well done for believing yourself and for going for it because truth be told not everyone can do nursing yeah we all know that so it's a lot of come and do nothing come and do nothing but the truth is not everyone can do it but if you believe in yourself and you've made up your mind to go for it well done you'll be surprised at how much impact you are going to be making in people's life every day you are going to go to work you might be tired and all that by the end of the shift you you'll be able to reflect and look back and say oh yeah I really made an impact in someone's life so that is what nursing is all about so without wasting much of your time let's get straight into the video so from the title of the video you can tell it is all about the list of schools that you can apply to to study msc nursing pre-registration in the uk within two years and become registered with the nursing and midwifery council which is the body that all nurses need to be registered with before they can start working in the uk so after being registered with the nursing and midwifery council you'll be able to work as a registered nurse and i have arranged this school from the least expensive to the most expensive so i'm going to be calling out the list of schools so you can in that order so you can know the ones that are least expensive and the ones that are more expensive if you see me looking down i'm just looking at my system because that's where i have the list so don't be distracted so in this list i've got the name of the school i've got the fees i've got the amount of hours that is required for their rpo i've got the grade that is required like the bsc grade that you can use to come into this program i've got it that is required for each schools i've got their intake and i've got their mode of application so the first school on my list here is the University of Sunderland. The fee for University of Sunderland is 9250 But please note, University of Sunderland is only available to home students. It is not available right now. It is not open to international students. So as an home student, you'll be paying £9,250 for a year. The RPL hours that is required is 600 hours. The grade is 2-2 above. Their intake is April and the application is direct. You can apply direct from the school website. The next on my list is University of Chester. The fee for a year is £14,450. The RPA required is 800 hours. The grade you can use to come to this program in University of Chester is 2-1. The intake is September intake and their application is direct. So next on my list is University of Derby. The fee for a year in University of Derby is £14,900. They require an RPL of 450 hours. The grade is 2-2 or above. Intake is September intake and you can also apply directly on their website. So next is Bedfordshire University. The fee for a year is £14,975. Their grade is 2-2 and above. Their intake is February intake and the application mode is through UCAS. like you need to go through UCAS. you sign up with UCAS, put in your application with UCAS. UCAS submits your application to the school so UCAS is like an intermediary between the school and you so you need to sign up for UCAS, but you have to pay a fee i think there's a UCAS fee you need to pay a fee to UCAS so that they can do your application for you so next on my list is buckinghamshire new university the fee for a year is £15,000. They require an RPL of 500 hours. The grade is 2-2 or above. Their intake is September intake and you need to apply through UCAS. Next on my list is Teesside University. The fee is £15,000 for a year. The RPL that is required is 500 hours. The grade 
is 22 or above the intake is january intake and you can apply directly on their school website next on my list is university of salford the fee is 15750 the rpl required is 800 hours the grade is 221 or above intake is january intake and you can apply directly on their website next on my list is kingston university the amount you'll be paying in Kingston University is £16,200 for a year. The RPA required is 650 hours. The grade is 2-2 or above. The intake is September intake and you need to apply through your cars. Next on my list is Sheffield Alam University. The fee is £16,460 for a year. RPA required is 760 hours. The grade is 2 2 or above. Intake is January intake and application is through your cast. Next on my list is Bournemouth University. The fee is 16,500 for a year. RPA required is 720 hours. The grade required is 2 2 or above. Bournemouth is September intake and you need to apply through your cast. Next on my list is Liverpool John Moores University. The fee is 17,400 for a year. The grade required is 22 or above. Intake is September intake and you need to apply through UCAS. Next is Lincoln University. The fee for a year is 17,500. The RPA required is 650 hours. Grade required is 2 2 or above. Lincoln University is February intake and you can apply directly on their school website. Next is Northumbria University. Fee is 17,500. RPA required is 500 hours. Grade is 2 2 or above. January intake and you can apply directly on their website. Next is Plymouth University. Fee is 17,500 for a year. RPA required is 750 hours. 2 2 or above for grade. There is Plymouth University is September intake and you need to apply through UCAS. Next is Central Lancashire University. Amount is 17,600 for a year. The RPA required is 800 hours. The uh, grade is 2-2 two, two or above. For Central Lancashire University, I think they have two intake, one in March and one in September. The in, the, and you can apply through UCAS. Next on my list is Othersfield University. The amount for a year is £18,000. RPA required is 700 hours. You need to have a 2 2 or above to apply to Othersfield University. Their intake is January intake and you can apply directly on their website. Next is University of West Scotland. The fee is £18,000 for a year. The intake is January intake and you need to apply through UCAS. Next is GCU. Glasgow Caledonian University. The amount for a year is £18,450 for a year. 2 2 or above is required. There is January intake and you can apply directly on their website. Next is University of East Anglia. Amount is £18,500 for a year. The RPA required is 4000 The RPA required is 460 hours. The intake is 2 1 or above. Sorry, the grade required is 2 1 and above. Intake is February intake and you can apply directly on their website. Next is Manchester Metropolitan University. The fee for a year is £18,850. RPA required is 500 hours. You need to have a 2 2 or above. Their intake is February intake and you need to apply through UCAS. Next is Staffordshire University. The amount for a year is £19,000. 
RPL required is 675 hours. Their January intake, and you can apply directly on their school website. Next is University of York. The amount is £24,000 for a year. Hmm. Grade required is 2 2 or above. Intake is January intake, and you can apply directly on their website. Next on my list is University of Liverpool. The amount for a year is £24,400 for a year. They are a January intake and you can apply directly on their website. Next on my list is Manchester University. The amount for a year is 24,500. They require RPL hours of 695 hours. You need to have two on or above to apply them. Next on my list is Kiel University. I hope that's the correct pronunciation, Kiel. K-E-E-L-E, -E -E, Kiel University, the amount is £25,400 for a year. Jeez. They require 2 to or above and their intake is September intake. Next is University of Hertfordshire, they require 2 to or above. And the last on my list is University of Nottingham. The amount that you're paying for a year in University of Nottingham is £27,200 for a year. They require a 2 2 or above. There is September intake, and you can apply directly on their website. Yes, guys, please note in the first year, most schools usually give a discount. Probably a discount of £1,000 or £2,000. So, for instance, if your school fees, the, the fees I called right now, it is the fees that are on the school website. But most times, they usually give a discount in the first year. So, for instance, if your school fees is £18,000, in the first year, the school might decide to give you a discount of £2,000 or £1,000. So, it will make it maybe £16,000. That's if your school fees is 18000 but in the second year, they don't usually give discounts in the second year. So in the second year, you'll be paying your full school fees. So finally, guys, as much as I have taken time to collate over 20 schools that offer this MSc nursing pre-registration program, I am happy to tell you that this list is not exhaustive. There, there are still a lot of schools that I could not include in this list due to research time. So please know that you, you're up, you have a lot of options. There are a lot of options. And I keep telling people, when you are applying, just don't apply to one school and assume that, oh, that is it. No. You need to apply to apply to more than three schools just to increase your chances of getting the admission. Because I've seen situations whereby in the last minute, some schools disappoint prospective students, like in the very last minute. So imagine you didn't have a backup. So always have backup and keep all your offers till the last minute till you've looked at every, each one of your offers. I'm talking about when you finally get your offer. Take your time to decide on the best school you want to attend. So take your time. There's no need to rush, okay? Also, applying to more than one school gives you higher chances of getting the admission because the course is very, very competitive, especially to international students because... I think they usually divide the slots between home students and international students. Home students are the ones in the UK already. But the international students, they are coming from all over the world. In my cohort, I've got people from Zimbabwe, South Africa, Nigeria, different places, India, different, different countries. So the course is very, very competitive. That's why you need to apply to as much, as, as much schools as possible. So you increase your chance your chances of getting the admission i think i'm going to do a q a session very soon where i'll be answering some questions that a lot of people have been sending to me and one question that really stood out for me that i'm going to talk about in this video is people asking me that they are 40 they are 38 they are 35 and they don't know if they can come onto this course and i keep telling them there is no age limit 
there is no age limit this course is just two years program in the next two years whether you decide to take up a new course or do a new or achieve a new degree or do something new is it's not going to matter because in the next two years you'll still be 40 you'll still be 42 so you get so there's no age limit for this course i've seen people in their 30s 40s 50s yes i've seen people in their 50s in this program i've seen people in their late 40s doing this program so age is not a barrier so far as you have your bsc degree your bsc degree every other thing thank you for watching make sure you subscribe please subscribe grow my channel make sure you subscribe like my video share it so that'll be the end for today guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing to those that have not subscribed kindly subscribe from my youtube analytics i can see that a lot of my subscribers have not yet subscribed kindly subscribe please don't subscribe subscribe please i'm begging you guys subscribe for content that are useful please subscribe to my channel like my videos comment if you have any question just comment i usually reply so drop me a comment you can message me on instagram and on tiktok i share my content on tiktok as well so just like share and subscribe thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video